program here at the National Weather Service is a critical part of our everyday operations. It is the only way we have to actually sample the atmosphere all the way up, up to about 100,000 feet. Well, here at the Upper Air Building is where we actually go through the process of filling up the weather balloon. We use helium here at this office. Other offices also use hydrogen. And here on a standard day, we'll put about 1,200 grams of helium in. We launch rain or shine, hurricanes, blizzards, pouring down rain, anything except for lightning. If we hear any thunder within 15 minutes, we cannot launch the balloon. To prepare the radio sun, we um, take it out of the box, take a look at it, make sure all the sensors are working properly. We have a high grister that measures uh, humidity, a uh, temperature boom that measures temperature. Since all of this is GPS based, which you'll see up in the dome right there, uh, we have to make sure that the radio sun at the office is picking up the correct number of satellites. So we let it sit there for a few minutes to make sure it's catching all the, the satellites, make sure all the temperature data is correct. Once that is ready to go, we can bring the radio sun down here and launch the balloon. We attach a parachute so when the radio sun does fall to the ground, it won't hit anybody, hit anything, cause any damage. After that, we will attach the parachute and the balloon to the radio sun. After that, we launch the balloon. It gets to about 100,000 feet, takes 90 minutes to pop, and then we uh, quality control and monitor the data for the next 90 minutes. These observations, after we take them, are carefully quality controlled by our staff, and then all of the observations go into our models to help us forecast. We also use the raw sounding data to actually help us with severe weather, uh, rain snow lines when it comes to winter weather, and also helping us out with uh, various other temperature and dew point uh, predictions.